One of the questions that, that came in was very intriguing because it said, I know that I have to honor my father and mother, but how do I challenge them when they are wrong? Well, I, I would have a little word of caution here. I, I would caution against addressing the relationship that you have with your parents, presumably as a young, at least a young adult. I would be careful to, to characterize that as being a relationship in which your role is to challenge your parents. You're probably not going to get very far with that kind of an approach. The reality is when we talk about challenging people, we usually, uh, usually have certain body language that I think is instructive to us. If we really challenge somebody, we may go to them like this and, and we point the finger at them and we start by saying you this and you that and you the other. Now, as soon as the finger is pointed at you, you will immediately put up your uh, resistance. You will immediately stand against it and you are automatically in an adversarial position which you probably is not going to be productive. So I would start out by saying what, whatever the degree of your relationship is depending on your age and how long they've been your parents, whatever it is, don't think in terms of challenging parents uh, about their behavior. Well, what's, what's the alternative to challenge? Well, instead of going into a challenge where the finger is pointed and you start with you, you, you could start with, 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 with talking about I. Uh, and when you talk about I, the, the physical uh, movement there is the opposite for the point. It is a, a sense of drawing pe people in. For what, what you're now going to say is not, you are wrong about this, but I am having difficulty knowing what to do in this situation. Would you help me with this difficulty that I have? And let me specify the difficulty. I want to honor you. I, I, I want to respect you. I, I want our relationship to be what it ought to be. But the, the issue that I, I deal with is this, I have committed my life to Christ and you don't necessarily agree with my commitment at this particular point. I, I, I have difficulty knowing how to relate. I don't want to antagonize you. I don't want you to feel that my coming to Christ is a rejection of all the wonderful things that you built into my life. Can we sit down and talk about this? Now, you are much more likely to have a relationship that is going to be productive if you go about it this way. Now, if your parents uh, need to have a change of behavior, at least you, you are convinced they ought to have a change of behavior, let me remind you of one simple biblical principle that's often overlooked, and it is this. It is the kindness of God that leads to repentance. It's not the challenging of God that leads people to repentance. If they've got a rebellious attitude and God challenges their rebellious attitude, they get more rebellious. It's the incredible kindness of God that eventually leads people to repentance. I would submit to you, don't think in terms of challenging your parents. Think in terms of seeking to draw them in to uh, help you to understand the situation and do it in the context of being generous and kind towards them. I wish you well.